Hello everyone, my name is Karthik and you are watching my YouTube channels and this session will learn how we can create a you know, web application uh, web API actually how we can create a you know, web API from the scratch so this is a demo for web API controller based uh, approach uh, but uh, yeah there is a two approach so we'll create another approach as well so first we'll start with this one and this is actually output what we will achieve in this session so we achieve actually we create a now uh, uh, web api uh, api applications from the scratch and we have also created a one blogs that blogs have an you know, capability of get post you know get by id put uh, put and delete uh, performance so let's see it first check that get let's try is there any data there is no data that's why it's empty okay then move it to post just post some data let's post just fast okay try out try it is that part okay no post one and describe okay and then execute see is success 201 i'm getting the response 201 also we get the response then just check it previously it was empty so just execute once again see the data is there result is there then also you can find the get by id if you put try one execute so you see the data is there and also i want to update so let's try to update to uh, okay and then just update to the data execute then check the data is executed data is updated or not let's execute once again see uh, yeah it is not updated might be I'm not clicking yeah so I did not execute so just execute see the response yeah it is not found because i put wrong value so there is a not not available this id so just change it to one this update see 204 and check the response is updated or not yes it's updated also you want to delete just try to delete one execute yes Response at this. The check again. Go to back to get execute. Yes. See the all the performance, all the you know verb HTTP box is working for this block. So also let's get started. So how we can achieve those are you know those are performance. Those are you know block. Suppose how we can create a block. Then how we can you know. Uh, get that blog update the blog and you know, delete that blog so based on the you know apis so let's move on the api so first just open visual studio and uh, here is that okay so just create a new project and choose here sp.net web api there's a many way to search but yeah you can search like this way also there's an option select to web api once you select web api you will see that those template and you can choose that template from here uh, for example this is for c sharp this is f sharp so don't try to confuse so choose c sharp next and web api controller base demo or session okay also solution name with this but yeah project name you can just change it api okay and just next okay here is the some configuration so you can choose your whatever do we have a uh, framework or sdk so just choose i am just choosing seven and then authentication is none also i set the configuration but yeah if you're local so we don't require that configuration to https also see 
I check enable open API so that you you know don't worry about that swagger uh, uh, UI it will automatically generate and set up you know perform that testing as well like how we can get how we can post so those are those are stuff with this you know check you can check it also see the here's a two two approach so use controller so if you choose this so it will you know controller based api will generate if you uncheck so that means it will use the minimal level so two approach actually we can create api first is you know controller based api and second one is a minimal api so minimal api will will go to another session but this session only will cover that you know control based so just check it okay also you can just check and check from here so if you check then actually uh, that main and you know so uh, main and class also will create it but if you uncheck so now is you know it's, uh, the comes in dot net dot uh, net 6 i think yeah from the dot net 6 they giving in don't record any you know class and you know for them entry point so you can choose whatever you want but yeah as of now i will just choose uncheck okay i don't want to that you know class program class and then main method so and so so just set up and then create next okay, i think it will take some time to generate because it is first time and also yeah some dependency it will resolve so before going to structure description actually first we have to know like what are the api okay that is important because if we are creating some app we don't know what is that so that is a it's a not right thing so what i can do i just i will just explain what are the api okay so basically web api are a set of the rules and protocols that enable different uh, different software application to communicate and interact with each other over the internet they provide the standardized way for the applications to access applica uh, specify features or services of others applications or platform web apis facilities data exchange integrations and ext extendability allowing developers to retrieve data update information and seamlessly integrations difference different so applications or systems they come in two types actually the soap apis xaml based and rest apis json based so web apis have become essentials and modern software development enabling uh, the creation of the in you know, intro consented system and the integrations of third party services unlimited uh, ultimately leading to the development of reach and interaction applications so moving to uh, our uh, now moving to our structure then so let me yeah so moving to our then if you do something if you know really right because if you creating something so yeah so then moving to structure like so what is the default tem template by the default template what are the you know structure they created so see this is main program files which is we know like dot net 6 come from the dot net 6 actually they are the from this structure like this a program dot file it is a main entry point so it's create a builder and after that some dependencies uh, some you know uh, registration uh, resolve dependency uh, registration over here builder services so i i resolve dependency of that uh, controllers and then i resolve dependency of that you know of a swagger and also some endpoints explorer and also you know some some environment okay based on this environment actually I, I can use this swagger and other environment will not show that swagger part and also there's some middleware part available also here so this middleware part extension method actually uh, maintain that you know http redirection and this middleware part maintain that authorizations and this middleware maintain that you know controller mapping controller and then finally it's run so your application will start to run okay moving forward the controller okay so moving forward the controller it's also create a one uh, model okay the weather forecast model 
so we may not based on this weather forecast model you will see that it's also created a weather forecast controller so what that controller there see this is a controller and it is inheriting to controller base okay it is not inheriting to control previously uh, in the model view controller you know mbc pattern they using actually the controller but now came into api so it is separate uh, you know drive class to controller base drive class we inherit to our api okay because it is allow many stuff like our get our return type everything actually minus this uh, controller based drive class okay so what they doing they doing simple is creating on our private static uh, uh, string array okay this is a string array and uh, also just injecting the logger file on this uh, controller and uh, the finally i we, we created actually they created a http get verb method okay so that we can get all the data based on double logic so it is some logic over there like every based on this range you know one to five so they calculate and return every time is a different different uh, data based on this string so let's run see what default template is providing us how's that uh, output of the default template uh, then we'll actually try to implement our you know that blog uh, blog uh, uh, blog http uh, blog uh, now we'll create a blog so that blog actually we will achieve that in blog like we can create new blog we can get that all blog we can get a blog by id we can delete and update also all the performance we will achieve that one so right now see this get weather cast and also the response type is this and try get execute see those data as right so these are default templates so close that one now we'll try to achieve that block implementation so remove that one controller remove model so actually i'm creating from scratch so that you know every for beginner they can able to understand and how we can create you know from the api from the scratch so that can they can help they will help to understand so yeah first what need to do first you have to create a folder okay it's called a model and in this model what need to do need to create a mod okay model should be named the blog okay once it's created just so just I, i'm not writing in a code actually but yeah i'll show the structure and how we can do but yeah everything i will explain as well because instead wasting of time why required a wasting of time that will create a long video for here so yeah just i create a blog and these are properties should be over there like id titles description and so on so but it is for example the demo session so for learning perspective these are fine I guess. okay so then what need to do i need to create a one service okay and that service so create that services okay it is the best practice actually uh, all the business logic should be in a service okay uh, also you know the great architecture should be like not inside this service not service inside your uh, application it should be outside on this project so but yeah for the demo perspective it's fine for here so for the understanding perspective and uh, create a uh, services okay so choose interface first i'll create that interface for i log okay data interface and it's public and then we required some method actually what are performance we need to do so we need to require get post delete everything so just copy paste over here see this is a get all the get blocks this is a get by id so we can get the block based on the id and this is a created block so newly created block 
it is also updated blog and this is finally to delete the blog okay so these are information these are interface and need to implementation and this services so go create another class for implementation so just create a blog okay just inherit to that of our interface log log okay just bring the namespace this is namespace i blog it's fine yeah, this is i blog it is public interface so it should come okay it is a very appearing over here but yeah I need to implementation all the methods so that's why it's compelling okay just what you need to do okay I just press shortcut key you can just you know mouse over here just you can implement and all the implementation and you know, uh, example in the implementation they will provide us but there is also shortcut like point out cursor over here control dot and then implementation so this is the implementation with this you know no implementation ex exception okay. so we need to implement okay so what would be the implementation for first our uh, you know first will implement get call so what need to do first i need to create you know uh, one now uh, in actually will create a list object and that in memory actually we will use this here the data from the in memory so what need to do for this i need to create an a uh, one list object so private private read only okay and then i will just list blogs okay list of blogs and we have to initialize of this under under the constructor so that first time okay so see it auto generated code over there see i'll create a list of the object and so that uh, whatever we'll and uh, while running our application whatever we'll do it should be keeping in memory okay so yeah later on we'll do in our database but as of now for the first if you are beginner so or understand his perspective it's best i guess okay so this is fine and then what need to do we first create you know implement the get call so what need to do just whatever our result whatever our we have list of the get blocks just simply return return blocks okay it is complete for first and then what we'll do we'll implement that get by id that guy so instead of writing code just copy paste i'll explain what we are doing so just change to this okay yeah so whatever our big blog list okay and that blog list what we're doing we are using actually link you uh first or default and what we'll do is first or default they will trying to find a okay, item id equal to id so i think some spelling mistake here. blog list i put this blog go to blog okay sorry uh i think this is a model oh my god i think we did some mistake instead of create directly blog i think we have to put some you know uh differentiate like okay this is service this is model okay so that part we are missing okay no issue we'll just rename it so there is a also flexibility visual studio give us so if you right click and rename it so quick factor rename okay so i want to rename this to service so that you don't worry about that it will replace all over the place okay so just services not services service service okay just enter okay. we'll change see 
it will change file as well it will change over here as well okay and also i'll change this guy to okay just right click go to rename and just service so, okay so this is also fine for you know learning learning perspective if sometime might we we, we create a you know by mistakenly we create a name of the class but yeah later on we find okay no 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 we don't want like this class so how we can you know change to all of the all the place without you know going to one by one okay, so this is the way okay, block service change it see change over here as well over here as well and uh, just compile issue i guess also we want to change to this to block okay what need to do just change to block okay, this is a model this to change as well okay so see this is fine now okay this is also return type should be blog blog okay also i think for interface we have go to interface yes is all need to change blog this is a blog uh, this also blog and this is also blog this so should be blog. okay okay fine then move on one to next see now this is also changed to blog this is also implementation change to blog so okay these are all fine and okay, now we'll see if we get find yeah id so yeah what we are doing in the list of blogs we find first and default we compare okay whatever id we passing of that ui that compare and if it is null then return simply null if it is not null then means uh, we return some data so that get y id also fine then move it to go to create one so how we'll create that that so just this code it is straightforward and simple so yeah uh, also yeah so i need to create one method so that you know that uh, increment logic okay so that is important because if we're trying to use in memory so in memory does not actually set in primary key as like our database so what need to do we just change we just first check if it is there any count if it is count there if it is count uh, you know greater than zero uh, less less than zero okay so then it's come okay or neither it's returning one okay if it is count not found then not found then it's came actually so what need to do we are creating okay this and trying to max it is you know zero greater than zero okay if it is greater than zero then we'll okay then means this blog has some value okay and then we're trying to find the max value of what is that max value then plus one and return back if it is zero is block it does not have any blocks so then finally we return one okay so this is the simplest simple logic and then what we are doing we are just whatever getting blog uh, entity from the ui just you know modify the id and just add into the list okay and return the blocks uh, not blocks just block okay also we have to modify here so yes so this also complete now move it to next it to update one okay it to bring code so that wasting up time to think this one okay. what need to do just changes to here okay so blog list then again we're trying to find okay it is there or not it is existing or not because if we want to update something so definitely we want to check in our data in our in memory data we are restoring so let's check okay it is existing if it is not existing return false because the data is not available if it is there then what need to do 
just whatever data is coming back from the uh, in memory just update whatever coming updated data from the entity ui just update and return back okay so uh just back uh, yeah i think update one also fine then what is left? delete one also pending so just one last is pending delete this is also the simple and uh, blog list so blog list uh, again we'll check it is exist if it is not exist then return false if it is exist then just remove from there based on the oh, okay. so this is a remove uh, method of tt not entity it is a link to provide so we can find the index and then we can find the data we pass it so it will automatically remove from in memory okay so finally services part is done okay then move it to controller so just create a new controller so that go to api and it should be empty okay because we are creating from scratch create a new api controller name is a uh, log or control or just create is okay so this is a route Okay, we set as a route actually is a route attribute uh, controller level so that we can set whatever you know route uh, prefix like if set is okay it should be api first then whatever our controller so for example api slash blog and if you if you don't want to pass you know if you want to change something name of this not not using this blog with same controller name so just you remove that and you can use your name okay, whatever your name so this is a router base you know uh, attribute so it's allowed to change or uh, modify everything so now we have to modify we have to create you know some some those http you know, verb, uh, HTTP verb like get post delete so what i need to do just create first get okay before creating get okay first what need to do first i need to inject this those service actually service i need to inject in a so data constructor the shortcut key ctor and double press so it will give us this it created automatically the same constructor of this control okay. and then just copy this in one go back and just inject over here just injecting also there's a one more way to initialize shortcut key just control dot and see create a assign the field okay just also see the example it's showing like it will create a private private property as well as just assign so just here see automatically create it now now need to create those endpoint actually get endpoint post endpoint okay so instead of wasting time just get for sample okay. one by one will implement so that you can understand better okay so first i learned i'll get i create a get endpoint okay so what need to do i create a public then action result and this action result actually uh, we can set a whatever is uh, return type okay so this is the drive class of that result. We can return various type of uh, response. Also, we set okay. This action result will send okay list of the blocks. So what we can do is just whatever are injecting. So see, this block service has a get method. Okay, there's a many method. You can check over here all the method. They are like whatever we created like get, delete, post, everything so we record here get so just get this is done then same you have to create get y id so also see the http uh, we use the router uh, um, uh, attribute router over here also 
like in the HTTP get we passing the ID so whatever we pass in the route for example uh, domain name for example localhost localhost and then localhost then whatever uh, port like 80 something then slash then our api and controller name this is api name so it should be api then our is blog blog okay then what is this this is actually get call so get call is blog the get call this is a parameter less get call or it is a parameter wise attribute parameter so whatever pass over here like this way so this is an example so just change to this okay then get by id whatever get by id just check it okay it is null so not found if it is not uh, it is not null so return this data okay then next one is post we'll create a post method of this blog uh, we'll use that http post and same action result along with the blog whatever we created so I think there is a another way like we don't return is it blog whatever we created but yeah we can simply pass okay it is created or not so based on the you know created in a post is a uh, post http bar we mostly sending actually 201 so that we can make sure okay it is created actually so whatever data is created we def we actually make sure it is created so now change to our service name Okay, and then created and simply create at actions and just passed up whatever the uh, here actually it's allowed to give that you know action name as well as the route values so we are passing this route value and the actions name is our get by id okay this is this one action okay and then we'll implement put call okay so put call also required some you know attribute uh, route route uh, route parameter so http put and they pass the route parameter sim similar will pass actually here similar actually that guy the pass the route parameter as well as that body now in a body so this is a we passing as a body was it body a body parameter okay it's called a body and it's called a route route parameter okay so we pass both short so just mention whatever you route pass it over here just you know uh, same name just put over here so that actually is serialized and you know assigned to over here and as well as whatever you know pass the you know, data from the body will serialize over it and then change to here update our logic over our service layer we don't bother about that we can be already implement so it's just checking it is not found so then not found and no content so that means no content means successfully updated as well. okay now finally last one is delete so just create the last endpoint delete same http delete pass the uh, out parameter the id assign this id over here and just delete all that delete method okay same behavior okay so we achieve also here everything okay but one more thing when you try to run okay, just try to run okay so i'll show you what what will happen if try to run okay it's running see all the endpoint is there like api blog api blogs api blog but the id api blog put get delete okay but when you try to hit this endpoint okay i i will get the error what is saying it is saying unable to resolve the services okay this is expected actually so that's why i'm not resolving the, the issue because definitely it will help for you to understand okay why this error occurring so move it to back to our project and see it is saying 
I using this service for this controller, but I'm not resolving it. So where we will resolve go to program.cs file okay? and here I already explained this you know program dot entry point from the starting like where the we need to add the registration service where to you know add our you know can uh, say middleware so here we can add like okay builder dot services dot our singleton there is a mechanism actually to register uh singleton add singleton there is a three uh, three type actually you can register so the add singleton add singleton it's add singleton then there's a add transient it's add transient and this is a uh, add scope okay so this is a three way so this time i'm not going to details for this you know registration method because i'll explain other another video my youtube channel you can check out my youtube channel and okay now we required actually based on the requirement so our requirement is singleton because i don't want to lose the data okay so we can use add singleton and here we'll mention our you know implementation as well as our you know interface so i blog i blog service thing bring is to bring space the correct service scope exactly okay then implementation as well so this is interface and this is implementation if you don't want to create this way so if you want to only just you know uh only just you know implementation so you can just directly use direct implementation not you know, interface but is the right way to actually so that you can write you know very easily uh, write unit test cases for this interface so just bring them in name space i block service also it is in right name. yes yeah some spelling mistake yeah. so as a give it no issue and finally see done or reload i am not going to stop on it we record or not let me check because it should now oh, okay so just refresh log get it cute yeah it's still there that means need to start up so just restart run again application and now try to get finally no result it is expecting okay also if you if you want to debug so we can debug as well so breakpoint here just put the breakpoint here also breakpoint go to implementation vision of service layer just put breakpoint over here just it one more time see breakpoint come here this app 10 and you can came in our services also see the result is zero that's why i'm getting those data the empty okay now just post some data okay suppose this is c sharp try just okay. we don't require this id because it will automatically generate it okay so we can this is c sharp blog okay description is c sharp is good language okay good language shortcut so just post see yes it is already created okay let me verify it is created or not again just execute okay just go to service layer then f10 now see data is there you are able to see whatever we posted okay run continue be able to see the data okay let me try one more like dot net core api controller base okay so description is control okay just execute okay 
also let me check the status yes it is generated two and let me check here execute again go to here go check yes two count is there so this is one this is two that means our x our functionality is working fine okay let me test another endpoint like get y id so let's try and uh, one okay. it is getting one trying to get two yes that's correct expand this one also and then try to update okay so try to update suppose i want to update two two balls you know that was a dot net core uh, controller base right title was that so i want to change like dot net core mini okay change description okay just execute and finally should we give yes 204 no contain and uh, let me check cute okay just remove debug see the data over rule continue see i already changed the controller base where is the previous by the controller and now i change to minimal so that update also working fine now check me the delete okay, i want to the delete uh, two this is actually two data over there this is one this is two i want to do. so just let me and execute okay so this is success let me check one more time yes it is gone deleted okay so as of now for this uh, controller based api so this is fine so next video will come with you know minimal api okay so till now Thank you so much. Have a nice day.